As it still includes the design of different types of beam to column moment connections, it includes flange plated moment connection where a plate is added to each flange, one at the top, one at the bottom. It could be either bolted or welded and the plate is welded to the column flange. It also includes welded flange moment connection where the beam flange is welded directly to the column flange and also it includes end plate moment connections where the extended end plate is welded to the beam and then is bolted to the column flange. This is Javier Encinas and today we're going to design completely from scratch an example of a flange plate moment connection. Let's get started. This is the statement of the problem. We have the loads, we have dead, life, roof life, snow, wind and seismic loads. We have both vertical load and bending moment as well. We're going to design a flange plated moment connection where the plates will be bolted to the flanges and then we're going to design also the shear connection for the vertical load. According to the statement of the problem, there's a similar connection at the other flange of the column. So this is duplicated at the other side as well. From the analysis of the building, we have the sizes of the beams and columns. The beam is W18 by 50 and the column is W14 by 68. So the goal is to design the moment connection for these loads and for these sizes. The materials are uh, FY 50 KSI for all steel and 86 for the angles. Bolts are high strength, A325, and then welds are uh, E70 electrodes. So let's get started with this information. To do this design, we will use ASIP steel and we will enter this information into the program. This is the moment connection template in ASIP steel. Here at the top, we see the different types of moment connections available, flange plated, welded flange, and end plate. Here at the bottom, we specify the geometry of the column, the beam, flange plate, angle, and bolts. In this case, I have entered already the information that was given in the statement of the problem. So the column is W14 by 68, it's already there. The beam is W18 by 50, I also entered this information. If we go to the loads tab, I have entered all the loads that were given in the statement of the problem. So we are specifying a nominal set of load cases and as they will combine them, the design will be per LRFD. So these loads are already entered into the program. If we go to the geometry tab, go to the column tab. This is a multi-story building, so we need to check both conditions, the floor condition and the roof condition of the connection. In this case, we know that similar connection occurs at the other side of the column, so we need to check this box over there. We don't know yet if we're gonna need any continuity plates. We will see when we check the limit states. If we go to the beam tab, it's W18 by 50. Here we specify the type of shear connection that we want to use. Could be either a double angle of a single plate. In this case, probably this will not work, but we're gonna check it anyway. We go to the flange plate. Here we are specifying that the plate will be bolted to the beam flange. Could be also welded, but in this example will be bolted to show the limit states for, uh, for the bolts. The plate width has to be smaller than the beam flange width. If we go to the beam tab, AISC sections, we know that for a W18 by 50, BF is 7.5 inches. With that information, we know that the flange plate has to be less than 7.5, let's say 7 inches, to be safe. We will define the plate thickness when we check the limit states, for now, let's say that is uh, three quarters of an inch plate. And the bolts, the edge distance is 1.5 in both directions, which is pretty, pretty standard for uh, three quarters of an inch uh, bolts. It's convenient to check graphically what we are doing. We can see here that the flange plate is smaller than the flange uh, width, so it's okay. We go to the angle tab, here we specify the sizes of the angles. It's a double angle connection. The angle leg on support is four inches, this dimension over here. And the angle leg on the beam is three and a half, this dimension perpendicular, this over here. 
the range of the angle thickness is between 5 16 or 3 8 in this case let's say we're going to use 5 16 0.31 3 the angles don't need to be eccentric so instead of one inch eccentricity let's say zero eccentricity here so the angles are concentric with the beam the bolt edge distance is one one and a quarter it's also okay for uh, three quarters of an inch bolt as we can see here graphically the angles are bolted to the column flange and also bolted to the beam web we go to the bolts tab here we specify the number of bolts for the moment connection so the number of bolts here and there in the flange plate and the bolt spacing three inches and also the shear connection bolts in this case we are specifying three rows of bolt spacing three inches we go to the materials tab is basically fy50 and fu65 for all steel angles are uh, a36 so fy36 if we go to the bolts tab here we specify the bolt diameter is three quarters of an inch a325 standard uh, high strength bolts and if we go to the weld tab we specify the weld sizes for uh, fillet welds in shear connection also the fillet weld for the flange plate to column and the fillet weld for the flange plate to beam in this case is a bolted connection to the beam so this doesn't apply so basically we have entered all the information that is necessary to design this connection what we need to do now is to optimize the design we need to see if we can reduce sizes we can reduce number of bolts size of the weld etc if we go to the at a glance tab we can see here a summary of the results for example if we start now for the shear connection we can see here that is failing in uh, angle block shear and also the beam bearing at bolt holes is failing by five percent so what we need to do is add more bolts in the shear connection let's go back to the geometry go to the bolts tab shear connection the current design has three rows of bolts let's increase one more row four and now the shear connection passes graphically we can see here that we have now four rows of bolts for the shear connection let's go back to the other glance tab so the ratio now for shear is 0.79 it's acceptable now let's focus on the moment connection everything is passing here but the, the ratio is 0.87 if we want to know what limit state is controlling let's go to the condensed tab scroll down to the moment connection we can see here that the limit state that is controlling the design is bolt shear rupture and the capacity is about 214 keep fit here we can see the factor loads and the controlling factor moment is 187 versus 214. let's see if we can reduce some other elements for example if we go to the flange plate instead of three quarters let's say half an inch 0.5 and now the connection is failing seven percent so we need to go back to 0.75 we cannot reduce the plate thickness anymore we go to the column tab we check the moment connection for the floor condition but what about if the moment connection occurs at the roof we need to check that condition as well let's check this and see that all these uh, limit states are failing are failing now meaning that probably for the roof connection we need to reinforce the connection probably with a continuity plate let's see if we if we add continuity plates at the roof then all these limit states disappear and the connection passes so for the roof we need to add continuity plates but for the floor the continuity plates are not necessary so everything is passing here we go to the condensed tab we can see here the final design here the factor loads and here are the combined loads the shear connection with all the limit states this is a controlling limit state 
for shear, shear ratio 0 0.79. This is the moment connection strength. The controlling limit state is bold shear rupture, and the design ratio for moment connection is 0.87. If we go to the detail tab, we can see a more detailed set of calculations with all the combined loads, shear connection strength with all the limit states for shear, the controlling limit state, and the design ratio. This is the moment connection with all the limit states. Here the controlling limit state and the design ratio for, for bending. The design checks. And here the geometric constraint. We go to the graph tab. This is the final design with a double angle shear connection and a flange plated moment connection. Here's a design summary with the final uh, design ratios in moment connection 0.87, shear connection 0.79, the design checks 0.67, and the geometric constraints are OK. With this, we conclude the presentation of this example in ASIP Steel. Please subscribe to the channel if you want to receive notifications in the future for similar videos. Thank you for your attention.